Are you having power problems with your Whirlpool dryer? Well, I'm Dustin with Parts Doctor, and today I'm gonna to show you how to replace the terminal wires and the terminal block using the terminal block kit from Whirlpool. This also applies to some other great Whirlpool manufacturer brands such as Kenmore, Mate, Amana, and more. I'll show you step-by-step, step. it's pretty simple. You can do it, so let's get into it. If you need to purchase a terminal block kit for your Whirlpool dryer, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we offer fast shipping and only sell manufacturer-approved genuine replacement parts for all major appliance brands. The terminal block kit contains a terminal block, replacement wires, mounting hardware, and wire nuts. The terminal block kit is a great option if one of the terminal wires had become loose, got hot, arced, and damaged the wires or terminal block. The terminal block material will melt if the connecting wires get hot, which could lead to much bigger problems. Often the red wire, or rightmost wire, is responsible for powering the heating components will be the point of failure, but damage can happen to any wire that becomes loose. This is why properly installed power cord strain relief is so important to protecting your dryer. A dryer with a failed connection on the terminal block may still run, but may not heat. Tools need for this repair? Phillips head screwdriver wire stripper tool, small flathead screwdriver, quarter inch nut driver, or socket. Before working on any appliance, please remember to disconnect it from the power. Before you move your dryer away from the wall, do not forget to disconnect the dryer vent hose on the rear of the machine. To access a terminal block, remove the quarter inch hex head screw from the top of the terminal cover plate. Set the screw and plate aside. With the terminal cover plate removed, you can see where the power cord connects to the terminal block. For future reference, snap a photo of the terminal block for reassembly later. When snapping the photo, try to angle the photo up so you can see the wires from the dryer connecting to the terminal block. Next, fully remove the three Phillips head screws holding in the power supply cable wires to the terminal block. Inspect the wires for any damage or corrosion. If the power cable wires are showing any signs of damage, the power cable should be replaced. Remove the terminal block by unscrewing the two fasteners on the outer edge of the black terminal block. Once the terminal block is free, you can inspect the block and wires for any damage. The terminal wire connectors are held in place by a small metal tab that will need to be released from the back of the terminal block. To remove the terminal wires from the terminal block, use a small flathead screwdriver to press the small metal tab between the wire connection and the mounting hole from the back so the terminal wire can slide down and out. Repeat this on the remaining two wires until the terminal block is free. With the terminal block removed, inspect to see what wires or wires need to be replaced. Use your wire cutter to cut off any damaged wire while trying to keep as much of the existing wire intact. After cutting off the damaged wire, inspect the remaining wire to assure that the internal copper wire is undamaged. If the wire looks damaged inside the insulation, cut back a little at a time until the wire looks bright and not discolored. If you need to purchase a new terminal block kit, make sure you get a manufacturer certified replacement part like the ones that we sell on our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to be sure that you're searching with a model number from the tag on your dryer to be sure you get the correct part. Locate the replacement wire in the kit that matches the wire that you cut. Trim the replacement wire to fit, taking into account the amount of wire that will be needed to reach the terminal block after you attach the wire nut. Using the wire stripper, remove roughly half inch of insulation from both wires. Hold both the replacement wire and the existing wire together so the exposed ends match and twist the wire nut on clockwise until the wire nut is fully tightened. Test the connection to be sure that it is mechanically tight. Repeat this process on any other wires that show signs of damage. Place the three square nuts on the terminal block and reinstall the terminal wires by placing the terminal connector in the bottom of the terminal block and slide the terminal wire and connector towards the top of the block until it clicks in. 
The small metal tab should be slightly bent down and locked on the terminal block. Attempt to slide the terminal wire free and bend the metal tab down if it does not make a secure connection. Repeat this process with the two remaining wires referencing the photo that you took before. Use the two Phillips head screws to attach the terminal block to the metal tabs on the dryer cabinet and firmly tighten. Referencing the photo from earlier, reattach the power supply cord to the corresponding color of the wires in the terminal block. If you have a four wire power cord, do not forget to also attach the white neutral wire from the dryer with the white neutral wire on the power cord. Be sure all of the terminal screws are firmly tightened and the power cord wires are not touching. Check the strain relief on the power supply cord and make any adjustments as needed. If your appliance does not have a strain relief, be sure to install one, as the weight of the power cord without the strain relief can be one of the biggest causes of terminal block failure. There should be slack in the wires between the terminal block and the power cord strain relief. If the wires are tight, loosen the strain relief screws and push more power cord into the dryer cabinet before tightening the strain relief. Once the strain relief bracket is tight, the power cord should not move. Slide the bottom of the terminal plate cover into the back panel and secure it with the quarter inch hex head screw. Reattach the exhaust vent pipe and plug in the dryer. And that's all for today's video. And remember, with tight terminal connections and the proper cord strain relief, your dryer will run for years to come. Until next time, I'm Dustin Parts Doctor. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.